Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash secret spice of life. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Welcome to some shit that's considered legendary. Hey, what is going on, you variety loving people? Hope you're to add some spice to your day. Welcome back to Secret Spice of Life. We're your host, I'm Brandon. And I'm Jordan. And if you're new to the podcast, welcome. Well, today we are talking about a couple of things. But the first thing we're talking about is none other than your uh, friendly neighborhood, uh, Tom Holland shooting <laughs> webs. <laughs> uh, the trailer for um, Far From Home, it's both Spider Man Far From Home, uh, came out Monday. I believe, and then the Roosters yeah. lifted the ban on spoilers. Spoiler <laughs> yeah. on Monday. Yeah. So, so if you don't know, fucking Tony Stark died. <laughs> uh, no. Oh my god! Hey, the bands lift. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's dead. Uh, if you watch, if you watch the trailer, you know you already knew. So yeah, Tony's probably. dead. Black Widow's dead. Um, never Thor's fucking, dead. Never fucking <laughs> coming back. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's in my head. I got on Instagram tomorrow. Hey, the new new quotes point. about the the Spider Man trailer. Tony Stark's no, dead. That's gonna, that should be our clip from the episode when you post. It. Uh, Tony <laughs> Stark's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> oh my god. All right, where do we go from there, man? That's the high point of the episode. But um, well, um, from the looks of it, the world needs another Iron Man. Um, and that's Peter Parker. Your friendly neighborhood yeah. Iron Man. Yeah, your neighbor, friendly neighborhood Iron Man, yeah. But um, it's obviously Peter Parker, and I called it, that he's going to be the face of the MCU. I don't know. Well, if they can get him signed, I'm that is. I'm still not sure about that. It, I think it depends on if they get him signed. That's like the only de- that's the deal I breaker. Know. I mean, like people keep talking like, oh, like this is like there's for sure going to be another Spider-Man movie after this. But yeah. I mean, like, from everything I've heard, Tom Holland's on his last movie, or like his last movie of his contract. Yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen after this one. I don't know. Because uh, they were talking about setting up the. Um, I, I keep saying the. I want to say the Hateful Eight, but it's not. It's the. Uh, the Eternals? No, 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 no. Spider Man's villain. Like eight villains that he fights against oh, in all the movies. Those. And then they come back to like one huge movie where he fights all eight of them at once. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I can't remember what that's called. Oh, Sinister Six. Maybe it's Six. It might be Sinister, Sinister Six. Six. Yeah. I think yeah. I did hear someone talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, you're talking about that and the thing I was watching. But uh, basically, the premise of the um trailer is that um Nick Fury recruits Tom Holland uh, to help him and Mysterio. Mysterio is from another multiverse. Well, the, the, but, well claims yeah, to be. That, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's the thing though. Like he claims to be from another universe. So um. I mean that would I mean that kind of like opens up your mind like mm-hmm. makes you think a little bit yeah but then uh, um like from what I've read I didn't know this because I don't read the co- read comic books and stuff but like uh, um from what I've I've read from other people they've said that Mysterio is like a like a liar and he just tells he likes to boast about being from another universe when he's yeah he's yeah he's on. in the comics he's lied about being from a different universe before yeah. so so. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know whether to believe him now or not, but I mean, like, I, I feel like they're going to go with the multiverse story, though. Yeah, I feel like they have to. Yeah. And if Nick Fury has him, like, recruited on, then I feel yeah. like it's not just going to blow up in his face. I mean, it um, could, but... Maybe, but... But, um... I feel like too much happened in Endgame for them to do something like that in Spider-Man. Y- yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. For them to, like, completely change everything. That, that that would also fix all the plot hole problems that people were complaining about for the movie, which which would increase the value of Endgame a lot more. Wait, what do you mean? Like, it would... The rating for Endgame should go up, because if they cover the plot holes in Endgame with, like, Loki going away with the Tesseract... Um, Cap staying in the past and like altering the timeline. I mean, they they have to do the multiverse. They have to, yeah. I and mean, there's no there's no way around. Because there was no way that they did game wouldn't make sense. Yeah, they, there's no way that they didn't create a multiverse. In, yeah, in they had to have, like going back and returning the stones had to have created something. Mm-hmm. Uh, because Cap came back as an older person, so it was, it was obviously a different branch of the universe. Yeah, and they uh something I was watching. I think it's the no, it wasn't the Russo brothers. It was somebody else, but um. But they said that um, in the original timeline that Infinity War took place in, um, 
Thanos destroyed the Infinity Stones in that timeline. So them taking them from a different timeline and bringing them there wouldn't change what already happened. And then um, the Ancient One explains that if the um, Infinity Stones in that timeline ever leave, it still like branches off. But he said, oh, what if we return them? Well, returning them technically doesn't fix the problem because, um, because it's still not in their own timeline. Like the stuff that already happened already happened. That doesn't affect their timeline. But them removing the stones and then... Uh, she said that um, they would have to fight like all the forces of darkness without the stones or whatever because yeah. like they had um, like, like all the throughout all the movies you see them use well, like the mines. New York to... was going on while they took the time stone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. But they didn't use the time stone in the battle of New York. They used the mine stone yeah, that, and that, the that, tesseract. That still screw things up. Though? Yeah, that's what I'm saying for future battles after the battle yeah. of New York. It would have messed up like their fight against Ultron because Vision Vision was a huge thing, and then he used the what the mine stone mm-hmm. um, yeah. to defeat um, Ultron. But um. So they would destroy all the events in in her timeline because that's what she said. She said my timeline would be affected, yeah. and not theirs. So, but whatever. But um, anyways, they they sh- they have to go with the multiverse um idea if they want to expand and and have all these different TV shows. Yeah, I mean because yeah, obviously uh, we don't know what happened to Loki. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was supposed to be dead. Yeah. Um, and then in the the past universe. He escaped at the Tesseract, so they mm-hmm. never even explained where he went with that. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, I don't know where he's at. Uh, Black Wid- I mean, Black Widow's movie is a prequel cool now, I guess. That's yeah. what everybody's confirmed. I think the Russo brothers even confirmed it, that she's not coming back. Yeah. So, um, her, who else? Oh, Tony's dead, obviously. <laughs> we already <laughs> she didn't hear that. it the first time. <laughs> we already stated that at the beginning of the episode. Um, yeah, but I mean, like, there's a lot of things that are like, you're like, oh, where are these people going to go? So it has to open up into a multiverse somewhere. Yeah. And then they even like hint at that. I don't, I mean, yes, that's fan baiting, but it also, um, has to, it's also like a must at this point, I feel like. Yeah. I mean, I mean they have to, they have to change it up at some point. I mean, they yeah. can just keep going with what they have. I mean, because like. If they didn't open up the possibility for them to have multiple universes, like, and be able to bring characters, like, in and out and everything, like, you know, bring yeah. characters back, then they, they'd, like, have nothing for a while here. Yeah. Because there's only a few characters left in the MCU right now that have movies scheduled for them. Yeah, with the Guardians of the Galaxy, Black yeah, Panther, the Spider-Man. Not counting the Eternals, which is, like, beginning to get casted and everything now. Yeah. They, they casted... Uh, Rob Stark the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got another Stark back in the universe. God, this fucking <laughs> animal. <laughs> they got another Stark in the universe. And I still don't know how I feel about Angelina Jolie leading the cast for the Eternals, but... Uh, yeah, there's very few movies that I enjoy with her. And I'm, like I said, like I was talking to you earlier, Mr. and Mrs. Smith was cool. And then that other movie, we can't think of the name of where they're assassins and she's in it. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I cannot remember what that movie is called, but... um. But yeah, um, no, but I mean, like what else? I mean, with the uh, multiverse that opens up the possibility of Miles Morales being Spider-Man mm-hmm. of uh, somebody said Spider-Gwen also. Yeah. Um, which I wouldn't be happy about. Which like a lot, they didn't some, even introduce her as a character. Yeah. But some people are saying like uh, maybe at the end of this Spider-Man, that they're going to introduce a new Spider-Man. Wanted. That's what? the name of the movie. That's the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but maybe they're gonna introduce another uh, or a new Spider-Man from another universe at the yeah, end of this. I wouldn't, one. I wouldn't mind like if they it just. Oh, I, I told you about this. If they do this, this would be fantastic. If they paid homage to Childish Gambino because he mentioned that he wanted to be Miles Morales like a long time ago. Mm-hmm. If they just had him as like an old Miles Morales, just kind of like a cameo. Him, yeah, as as Miles Morales' uncle. Yeah. yeah. Well, like they hinted towards it. Yeah. yeah. But um, so they can't. Really, I mean, like that'd be kind of throwing the story off. Yeah. So I don't know. Unless it's a different universe, you know. Like, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We don't even know, man. Like I, I mean, we don't even know what if what happened in Endgame was in the same universe. That was definitely in the same universe. No, but I mean, like we're like there's there's things that could be going on that's like you don't even know about right now. What do you mean? I mean, like, how do you know the the Peter Parker that came back into that was the, was the same Peter Parker that's going to be in this movie. Because like it, it could is. be a different universe. No, no, no. I mean, they. they he, How I do you know Mysterio is not the guy coming from the regular universe? Is he's not. That's like that's that's bullshit because um because they return to the same part place in time. 
when they come back to like the same timeline like it's still the same thing like nothing's changed yeah, but it still splits the multi- multiverses splits have different the things that are different about they're clearly different about them like, like what? i mean like, like they have different genders, heroes and, and stuff, stuff like that yeah there's like clear differences like there's no clear but how differences do you know they don't they introduce return. anybody but tom holland or but peter parker and the spider man maybe him and mysterio are the only two people oh yeah so, uh, what if mysterio was lying about there being a multi or about him coming from another universe mm-hmm. and uh and like this was the new reality like mysterio didn't exist in the other one before but now he exists in this and tom holland's in a different reality i don't think that's the thing i think if you run to go down that route i think mysterio is a wannabe superhero who took clamps the end game happening and he felt like he needed to step in the world but he's just a bitch so (laughs) Because I feel like Jake Gyllenhaal isn't a long-term character. No, no, I, I, I don't have I don't have high hopes for him playing a superhero. Yeah, I don't think he's a mainstay. But that <laughs> yeah. that also makes me think that uh, like what what's gonna happen to him? Something something has to happen in that movie for him to Gets not killed. be around. I don't think he's just gonna die. Spider-Man stabs him in the throat. Yeah. Tom Holland uses the insta yeah. kill on him. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you see in the previews that he does use insta kill. Yeah. So. Oh man. But um, I'm thinking. Wait, wait. Did you say that um, in the trailer the monsters come from another dimension, or, or they go to another dimension? I don't know. Don't they say that they come from that um, that they're coming from another universe? I don't know. I, I have not watched. Isn't that Mysterio explained that he's like from another one, and there's a bunch of villains or something? Yeah. That he has to fight off. And uh, I thought that's what he was explaining, unless he's lying, you know. I mean. And I just came up with theory in my head. Mysterio is making all these villains. He's really a bad guy, just a liar. And but is Mysterio a villain in the in the comic? I just book, think or he's is he just a liar. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, are you sure he's not a villain? I mean, I think he's just like he's like he is he he's like an anti-hero. Yeah, I don't think he's like a villain. I I always thought he was a villain, but now what I hear people say about him, I think he's just like an anti- that he's a want to be like anti-hero basically. <laughs> but um. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. I did, I mean, how long was it? The trailer wasn't even that long. It was only like a minute. It was was two, it? Minutes two minutes. Two minutes. What? You're it's... not gonna play it right now, are you? No, no, no. But um, um, I was in the lookups. Oh wait, keep going with what you're saying. There. Um, I don't know, I, I didn't really have anything else to say because I was trying to think about what else is in the trailer. Um, hopefully they don't drop MJ down a um, clock tower. I don't think so. They, they are. They, they are in London. They haven't uh, like actually introduced her in this one. I it's know. Not, it's not like the Tobey oh, Maguire yeah, the, Spider-Man. When you when you figured out by the time you figured out who who she actually was, it was the end of the f- Homecoming. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. They, she didn't even her, say her name. Her name was yeah. Michelle. Yeah, her name yeah. was Michelle throughout the entire yeah, thing. She didn't say so my friends call me MJ. MJ. Yeah. yeah. Like the very actual last scene of the movie. Was it's literally the last scene. sentence of the movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I don't think they'd kill her off in the first movie that she's she's actually a full part in. I hope not. At least well, I was just joking because they're in, they're a big band and they're in like yeah, London. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Tobey Maguire. She was like a main character in the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie, pretty much. Oh, MJ. Yeah. yeah. The, um, Gwen or Gwen Stacy wasn't even like introduced yeah, in that one. It was Andrew Garfield. And then the, and then Andrew Garfield's was the opposite, where Mary Jane wasn't introduced, but Gwen Stacy was mm-hmm. his girlfriend. Yeah, and she got killed off in yeah. like the second one. So, and they did two completely different things with those movies. Mm-hmm. And now Tom Holland's back to the MJ thing. But yeah. she's not even in the first movie for the most part. I mean, she's in it, but they don't like talk to her or anything. Well, the, 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 the interesting thing that they could do is um, introduce a character named Gwen and have her killed off without like Peter actually knowing her. <laughs> Why would they do that? Just because in the comic books, that's how it goes. It goes Gwen, then MJ. But why would you have to? She has to be known in the world. You can't just put a character in there. You can, you can, I mean, you can just introduce her in the in the movie, and uh, Peter can take a like to her and they then didn't kill show her. Anybody else in the trailer? There's no other females in the trailer besides MJ. I don't think. Yeah. Or it, any like people that were actually characters in the movie. I don't think. Yeah. Like, they might have been background characters or something, but yeah, I don't know. But uh, oh yeah, we also said that. Uh, It'd be hilarious to see um, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman make an appearance real quick on screen. <laughs> As themselves. As themselves, yeah, not in costume. So they, can't get, so they don't get in trouble for being Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Yeah, I don't... That'd be... I think they should just have them fighting in the background, like, so discreetly that, like, you would have to seriously look at, like, the like the, the frozen image of, like, a scene to be able to figure it out. <laughs> oh, my God. 
I mean, like, I don't know. They still leave you hanging with the trailer. I mean, like, they really don't tell you what is actually going to happen. Yeah. Like, they show you you're getting a new character introduced. Um, Mary Jane's going to play a bigger role in this one. Um, mm-hmm. And then, uh, who else? And they don't really show, I guess his friends are back and everything. But yeah. besides that, they don't really show you much. Yeah, it's kind of, and, and what's his name, the quick. Tony Stark's bodyguard's in it, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can never remember his name. John Favreau. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he's in it. And that's what he's I, he's going to be Spider-Man's uh, boy now. And what's her name's in it? Um, Robin Trubatsky. Oh, she is? Yeah, she has her super short blonde I hair in it. Her. Yeah, she's, she, I, I saw her know. sitting in the chair. But she has blonde hair now. Yeah, like super oh. short but blonde hair, how yeah. How'd she go from black hair to blonde hair in, in like, a few years? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's technically five years later. Oh, I guess it is. That's going to be the interesting wait, thing. Wait, is did she disappear, though, too? Did she get mm-hmm. snapped? Mm-hmm. She got snapped? Mm-hmm. I couldn't remember if she did or not. Yeah, she was a she Fury. She was in the scene with Nick Fury. Right? Yeah, when they got snapped, yeah. Like, at the end of it. Uh, yeah, at the end of Infinity Endgame, yeah. War. Oh, yeah. Infinity War, yeah, fuck. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't I don't really have much more is to she, say. Is she, like, any anybody, or is she just an agent? Oh, she's a shield agent. And she's been in there since the first Avengers, so Yeah, just like like here and there though. She's yeah, yeah, she does she's never played like a huge role or anything no. like that. Wonder how much money she makes doing that. <laughs> but freaking Samuel Jackson isn't really for the most part isn't really in the movies yeah, that much. He's technically like the main the main part of the Avengers. But he's not he doesn't really play like a huge well. part at all. Captain oh. Marvel was the only movie that he's fully in. Yeah. That's probably the biggest role he's played. Yeah. Yeah, I and mean, he was in like Iron Man a little bit, and like every movie a little tiny bit because he had to introduce the characters yeah. or like get them onto the Avengers. But I would say before the Captain Marvel movie, the biggest part he's played was probably in the first Avengers. Yeah, when they're on the ship. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really about it. <laughs> <laughs> Besides that, I mean, Samuel Jackson probably makes Bank to be the be kind of the face of the MCU for no reason. Oh yeah, no <laughs> doubt. That's uh, that's the role of a lifetime right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I don't know. You have anything else to say about Spider Man? No, not about Spider Man. I just I kind of hope Tom Holland sticks around a little bit a little bit more for a couple more years. Oh yeah, then that'd be that'd be a shame they could do away with him yeah. if Sony's that dumb not to sign. I think. More. Well, you, well, you know, like isn't it Sony's decision though if mm-hmm. they want to give it to Marvel? Mm-hmm. If they don't want to, then like. I, I guess that, that would be dumb on their part, though, because well, I'm sure they're they're making a ton of money off of him. Well, right um, Marvel definitely has a leverage in this because they did open the doorway to introduce like other characters that can replace Spider Man. What if What if Disney just went and bought Sony out? <laughs> they could. They easily could. Then just took it. That's what they're gonna end up doing. I guarantee you, at some point here within the next like I don't know, maybe ten years or so, Disney's just gonna monopolize the whole interta- entertainment I mean, industry. This, yeah. I don't Entertain- even know if that's legal, but. I'm I sure mean, yeah, there's it. checks and balances in place so businesses don't do that. Like but they'll end up buying freaking everything. But yeah, I mean, they're definitely on their way to doing that. <laughs> I mean, they have like every big movie title in the history for for the most part. Mm-hmm. Right now. Yeah, no doubt. Well, they make billions and billions and billions of dollars off of every movie. The only thing I'd say they're missing is a Tarantino movie. <laughs> <laughs> they'll buy them for one movie. Yeah. Hey man, you get you want to come? We got on? an extra billion dollars laying around here. here you go. Hey, you want to do the alternate ending to end game? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody gets killed. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> Heads will Did that Hollywood movie come out yet with him directing it? Um, the one with the oh uh, with Brad Pitt. Um, what was it called? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I think. Uh, ch- 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 I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It should come up. <laughs> it took me to like a blog. Uh, I think it's summer 2019, it says. July 26th. July? Yeah. Damn. I feel like that movie's been previewed for so long, No. Oh yeah, I know. yeah. I, I've seen it a lot uh, recently. Yeah. Um, I also saw on Netflix that they have um, where Zac Efron plays Ted Bundy. I think is what it is. Yeah, is, that is, what it, is it on there now? Yeah, I saw it today when I was on PlayStation. 
Oh, they just put it on there. Yeah, it must oh, they must have just been on there. Yeah, so I was like, I was like, oh, that really looks like Zac Efron, and then I remember. I did see people talking out. about it a few days ago. Though. I don't know when they put it on, but I didn't see it when I went on there. Yeah, but um, was that a movie or is it a show? I think it's a show, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but um, real quick before we switch off the su- off the superheroes, um, uh, they said that uh. When they, yeah, but you know, I think I think you misunderstood like what they were saying earlier. How you said that there was gonna be like one Earthbound villain and then one like cosmic villain. Yeah, they're not. They they said that they've already had the Earthbound villain, which was Thanos. Um, and now they're on the. That's, but like, there's there's characters that are still left in the MCU that have no ability to fight cosmic. Characters yeah, that, yeah, but like they, Black Panther's not gonna be able to fight someone. No, from no, yeah, planet. yeah. That's what I don't understand. Neither it's is. I mean, Captain Marvel's really technically the only one that exists right now that probably can. And, yeah, Thor, and Thor, I guess, if if he comes back. Yeah, and the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, but still, that the, like they'd have to Chris be in ships. Would get his yeah. ass kicked oh yeah, no doubt. Like but that. um, but he, that's why they're introducing the Eternals, is because they're cosmic be- beings. Fuck. But um, I just hope they don't go the fully that direction though. That's, yeah, I, mean, I don't like, know I'd how that would be. If, I mean, like, because the space movies, like the ones that are like al- almost full space movies, aren't my favorite. Guardians of the Galaxy still is because like it's funny and everything. Yeah, but I feel like the Eternals is gonna be a, a like more serious type of a, like. Movie. I hope not. I feel like I mean is. just because of I mean like Kumail and Stay Spidey. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. If you're listening to the podcast, it would mean the world to us if you gave us a rate and review. Subscribe to the podcast as well, so you're the first to know when we release new episodes. Be sure to download the podcast to help us out. If you're watching the podcast on YouTube, the full length podcast is in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe as well. Check out us out on all of our social media. Our Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat are all official SSOL. Uh, again, that is O F F I C I A L S S O L. That is on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And you can find us at Secret Spice of Life on Facebook. Don't forget to check out our website and blog, new blog every Wednesday, and potentially some bonus blogs throughout each week. Be sure to check out our Patreon as well, because for 2019 and every year coming, uh, we are going to monetize our Patreon for charity. So anything that is donated to our charity tier on there, will be donated to a charity of your choosing or our choosing by the end of the year or every six months or so. Um, but yeah, make sure to donate to that um, to give back to other people. And as always, have a positive and productive day. Welcome to some shit that's considered legendary.